Good afternoon and welcome to this demonstration video for the assembly of Raw China Brass Bed Company Super King Bedstead. So firstly, I'm going to start by moving and giving myself a lot of space in order to assemble the bed because obviously the Super King being 6 foot by 6 foot 6 is going to take up a, quite a large area and then I'm going to progress with the first stage with attaching the side rails to the headboard. For the purpose of the demonstration, I've actually got somebody to help me and hold the headboard while I attach the side rails to the headboard. So if I pick this up, I will now start attaching the bed set side rails. So with your Royal Tiny Brass Bed Company product, you'll get full assembly components, nuts and bolts and spanners, so what I'm doing here, I'm actually resting side rail on top of the headboard leg lug. I'm firstly going to be putting, just loosely, screwing in place the nut and bolt just to hold the side rail in place. I'm going to duplicate that on the opposite side. And now the side rails are attached to the headboard loosely. The reason why they're only loosely attached to the headboard is because later on, as you'll be able to see, we need to be able to have some room at the leg lug area to wrap around the slat material so that it holds the slats in place. But now that the side rails are attached to the headboard, I'm now going to duplicate the same with the tailboard. taking a nut and bolt. With the Super King you get 14 nuts and bolts as there's 14 holes and as long as you have a nut and bolt in every hole you'll have one assembled bedstead. Now there might be a slight amount of movement when building the bedstead but that's fine because as long as you've got a nut on the bottom of your bolt when it's tightened up as much as you can for the time being, the best said won't fall over. So if you're doing this on your own, that's a good trick to know so that you can get it up as a, in a basic rectangular shape which is going to form and it will stay upright. Okay, so what I've done there is I've made just the outer circumference of the frame by using four nuts and bolts on the inside hole for the leg lug. For any beds king size all the way down to single, this will be your basic frame of which then we would go on to attach the slats so that they will fit in place. But because this is a super king, we have additional components to reinforce the beds. So now I'll be attaching the H form. So to do that, I'm going to take one of the T-bars which connects underneath the side rails and same with the side rails, I'm going to take a nut and bolt just to hold it in place. It's advisable to be careful this stage. Mind you don't trap your fingers because these are being put underneath. If you haven't got a firm grip, the T-bar will fall out of your hands. Now we're going to duplicate the same for the second T-bar. Notice that I've actually got the 
perpendicular section of the T-bar facing towards either the headboard or tailboard. This is because we put a bracing bar in between these two T-bars to make the H form. And these need to be pointing outwards, these perpendicular sections need to be pointing outwards in order for it to fit. So now that the two T-bars are in place, I'm now going to put the bridging bar in place to form the H form. The bed is not square at the moment, uh, at the present position it's not square, but we can adjust at the moment because at the moment we haven't tightened up any of the bolts, so we can adjust the squareness in just a second. The bracing bar fits over the top of the two T-bars, which marries up with the centre holes. The T-bars, unlike before, just drop in a nut and bolt and fasten underneath. So it's present moment time, all the nuts and bolts are loose, so if you wanted to you can address the squareness of the bed. I'm just going to pull this corner back a bit, which should bring the H-form into alignment and square off the bed as much as possible. But the actual bed will square up once we put the slats on. I'm now going to tighten up the H-form section before we do the lugs, because as I said before, we need to wrap the material from the slats around the lugs so it holds the slats in place. So for this section, although the spanners, the 17mm spanners which come with the kit are absolutely fine and will do the job, I find it easier using a 17mm socket wrench. So what I'm going to do is start with the centre and work outwards and tighten up the nuts and bolts. We're now at the stage where the H-form is fastened in place onto the bed. I've actually put the headboard and tailboard in a pivoted position. It won't fall over because obviously at the beginning we put in the nuts and bolts just loosely to hold it in place. But this will aid us when we come to put the slats on and wrap the material so we can fasten the slats in place. So I'm just now going to get the slats to put onto the bed. So what we have to do is step into the bed and leave these on. Inside the side rails, which are an L shape, and they should fit like tracks. And it's a case of putting the slats on so they fit inside the tracks or as side rails. And what you're looking for is you're actually looking to have the material under the slats. So as you pull them out, the material is hidden by the slats. So the slats are on top and the material is underneath. So now that slats are on, I'm just going to go around to each corner and wrap and fasten the material in place so we can lock the slats in place. And all it is is basically this little bit of material which is at the end of the slat. I'm just going to wrap it underneath the side rail which sits on top of the leg lug, put it back underneath the side rail under the bed and just loop it round. And then what happens is if I bring the headboard forward a bit, There'll be enough gap, because it's still quite loose, to be able to pull this cord now underneath and that pulls it tight around the first nut. Pull the headboard back. Make sure to give yourself a bit of room when doing this in your bedroom, because you don't want to mark any walls with the headboard and tailboard rocking forward or backwards. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Pull the headboard forward. And here's the material again. Wrap round and underneath the side rail on top of the lug, around that first bolt. Just lift and pull, and it's through. The headboard now is ready to have the second bolt being put into the leg lug and the side rail and fastened in place. 
So I'm just going to do this first one up tight. Put the second nut and bolt in place. Give it a bit of a second twist to tighten it. And there we go. Now we're going to duplicate the same on the opposite side. So now the headboard is fully attached, all nuts and bolts are in place. That whole process I'm now going to duplicate for the tailboard. And that is the assembly of the Super King bed frame. So now that we have the assembled frame of the uh, Super King bedstead, the final touches is to put the mattress on, if you've purchased a mattress, and um, put on the final touches which have been the finials. Now, for the mattress, it is recommended that uh, it's a two-man lift to get into place because obviously dealing with the Super King mattress, it's six foot by six foot six, so it's quite heavy and depending on the build of the mattress, quite substantial in weight. But for this purposes, I've already got my mattress put next to my bedstead. So all I'm going to do is just lay the mattress on. So it goes between the headboard and the tailboard and just slide it across. Like I say, if there was two of you, you could actually get something on the opposite side and you can lift over the tailboard if you limited space. But as we've got a st space here, it's literally just a case of laying it on the bed and pushing it into your position. Now I'm going to take the finials and they're basically just screw in on the headboard and tailboard. Next step is to dress your bed. <laughs> 